Today, I'm going to show you how you can make your own cyanotype formula from scratch. These are the things that you will need. To make the solutions, you will need potassium ferrocyanide and ferric ammonium citrate. Each compound will be mixed separately, so you will need one container for mixing the ferric ammonium citrate and another for mixing the potassium ferrocyanide. You will need spoons for mixing. Plastic spoons are your best options. And if you do decide to use a metallic spoon, make sure that the spoon is stainless steel. The ferric ammonium citrate will react to a metallic spoon that is not stainless steel. And for your solutions, you will need bottles for storing each formula. And I just want to mention, you do not necessarily have to have these particular bottles for storing your solutions. I bought them because I wanted them, but you really can use any type of bottle. And here's an example. This is a glass bottle that I used to use. What I did was cover the entire bottle with black tape so that the light wouldn't get to the chemistry. So you can use any type of bottle as long as it is covered well and stored well away from light. And of course, you will need water. I use distilled water, and you don't have to use distilled water. You can use tap water. But when I'm making my own formulas, I stick with distilled water. For measuring out the water, you will need a beaker or something similar. It is much easier to pour it out of a beaker than pouring it directly out of a 4 liter bottle. And again, you don't have to have a beaker to measure out your water. You can simply use a measuring cup and that'll do the job just the same. A funnel is something you will also need. This will help with pouring in your solutions into your storage bottles. And the most important thing is your safety. I would highly suggest to wear gloves whenever you are weighing out and working with the raw chemicals of the cyanotype. And even wearing a cloth mask doesn't hurt just to avoid the possibility of inhaling any dusting from the chemicals as you're scooping them out. Now, let's get started. The first thing that I do before I start weighing any chemicals is to make sure that the scale is correctly calibrated. This is a 50 gram weight that was included when I purchased the scale. So I'll first make sure that the scale will balance out to 50 grams. After I have done that, I will then begin with weighing out the first chemical, which is the potassium ferrocyanide. I always make sure to label each container with the name of the chemical that I will be using it with. After placing the container onto the scale, you want to make sure to zero it out so that the weight of the container will not include itself to the weight of the chemical. I will now measure out 10 grams of the potassium ferrocyanide. I will then pour out 100 milliliters of water. And 
then poured into the container with the potassium ferrocyanide, stirring continuously, making sure that it is completely dissolved before pouring it into the storage bottle.